Well, which one is Drew's room? Oh, we got an alert and our journal. Oh, I thought our journal updated too. I was about to say, I think it's safe to say that uh, Skip has lost his job because we, like a dummy, left the keys in the door. Although you, th you would think Samuel would be the one to lose his job because those are his keys, but eh. Samuel's mystical. Fire weather update. Arcadia Bay, Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Uh, 4.51 p.m. Saturday, May 8th, 2010. Culmination State Park Fire now 50% contained. Additional road closures, check local media. That's pretty good, guys. Good job. That was a giant fire. Message board, cruel reflector, the hypocrisy times. Interesting. Message board might be in here. Whiteboards. Whoa. The dorm that dripped blood. Thanks for the geometry help. I owe you one, Justin. Is someone playing piano in here, or is it just nice dorm music? Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. I wouldn't have made it to senior year anyway. Warren's in 104! Oh, he helped Justin with the- aww. Okay, and Drew's in 110. And who else? Elliot's next door to Warren. Hayden, Zach, Trevor. Armand Fisher, I don't remember. I guess he graduated. Aw. Visit Jupiter. Visit Ceres. Aw. What a nerd. Thou shall not pass. <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? It's pretty good. Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Well, let's snoop. I'm curious about this guy. He's very awkward. Looks like he's into the same figurines as Victoria as well. Let's see. Judging by that figurine there. Um, Alright. Start on the table, I guess. Elliot does work really hard. Wow. I guess I'm happy for him. <laughs> That's good. A plus in computer science. Nice. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? <laughs> it is kind of sad. A biography of Ernest Hemingway. Come on. It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Huh. Don't know who that is. I'll try and see who's in this picture. Can't quite tell, it's too blurry. Computer is a good place to snoop, so let's look at this harmless lacrosse stick. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Hmm. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. Rad 101. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Dear Elliot, I'm happy to inform you that your academic performance and financial aid status have more than met the requirements to receive continued aid. For the upcoming 2010 spring semester, the Prescott Foundation will cover all educational expenses, as well as room and board. Congratulations on your continued academic success. Hmm. I mean, I've never seems been okay. able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. I was wondering, like, what is that? Oh, it's a clarinet. All right, what's in the drawer? Uh, oh, I have to actually look. A journal. Oh boy, decisions, decisions. Wow. I remember this show. <laughs> Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Uh huh. You say that like I should be concerned. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. Well, <laughs> that's not half bad. When she left the room, it was electric. Flushed wings taut with agony. Hmm. Wings around a lightning storm. Okay. Dark. I see her in the brick and mortar, in the fresh-cut grass. Eyes flashing bright like coins. 
The fairy man can't have her, I say, but the dark gods laugh. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? That moment when the sun is almost there, the sea, so welcoming and warm, when pooled light smooths the nodding waves, when shapeless, cold infinity conforms to one stark plane, and for a moment only all is possible. All says yes, my heart says yes, her eyes say yes. Quite the poet. Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> That's a nice rocket. They see her, but don't see her. How is that so? When all the world is negative and dark, and she cries out, a screaming rocket, trailing fire. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? Well, that's, uh... That's serial killer type stuff going on now. Oh boy. Uh... I think we found a Yandere. <laughs> Looked very normal and preppy on the outside. Got some dark poetry on the inside. You are about to die. How childish she is. How lovely and how cruel. Her black knife spilling words and dripping ink. Ah, yeah, it is about her because she carries her graffiti pen with her everywhere. Mm hmm. Okay. Just gonna put that away. Do, 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 do. Tea? No, toilet paper. Cages? Tea? Just Coke. And a lot of dirty laundry. Hmm, don't trust the cereal. Elliot's mom seems nice. That's good. I'm glad he's got a nice mom. Subject, congratulations. Hey, sweetheart, just got a letter about your scholarship and I couldn't be prouder. I've been showing it to the whole family. Your grandmother just said, of course he did. He's my grandson. Also, your father called again about July 4th. I told him it was too early to decide that you're focused on school right now anyway. But if you want to spend some time with him this summer, of course, I'll support you. Don't break too many hearts over there, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Lucky Dana. <laughs> Chicks, man. Yo, Elliot, you got English with Dana Ward, right? What's she like? I think she's hot. Say something cool about me to her, but not like I told you to do it. Thanks, bro. Ugh. Elliot, are you responsible for that whole shenanigans? <sighs> Warren Graham is such a... nerd. <laughs> reply, reply, reply. Worst movies ever. You're so wrong. I'll grant you, Ed Wood made some awful movies, but so many even more awesomely terrible movies came out after Plan 9 from Outer Space. It's called the worst movie ever made, but have you seen Night of the Lepus? What's a bunch of space zombies compared to giant carnivorous rabbits? Warren. Huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. How to tie a tie video. Elliot Hampton, Arcadia Bay. Chloe Elizabeth Price, Arcadia Bay. Chloe Elizabeth Price. Chloe Price. The Tempest Quotes. The Tempest Tickets Blackwell Academy. Major Lucas Hampton. Illuminati Eye Meaning. Guards of Hell Book 3. That's just in the last couple of days, right? What's our... Whoop! Wasn't expecting that. Uh, ba -doop -ba -doop. Journal. Where are we? We're on the 8th. Okay. He only has stuff for, like, the last day. Interesting. Well, I guess I'm glad we have plans with Rachel already. Now, I couldn't write on this, right? Oh, I can now. Is that because I've got knowledge? What are we going to write? <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? That is blank slate. Elliot likes to write poetry about me, eh? <laughs> what do I want to say in response? Creeper or poet? Don't antagonize the Andary. <laughs> uh, but I don't want to compliment him either. Crap. I wish I knew which way this was gonna go. 
I'll do poet, because I can figure out what creeper is, but I don't know. Ugh. Emotional, loyal, introverted, <laughs> uh, odd, and talented. Permanent record. Okay. Eh, I'm no poet. So she spelled out his name. Huh. All right. Well, I didn't get any Illuminati eye, so I don't think that affects anything, really. Okay. Arscadia Bay. Nice. Break a leg tonight. Can't wait to see the show. You're gonna do great. Good luck tonight, Hayden. Wow, so popular. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. Uh, the Blackwell Academy Board of Trustees would like to formally remind its community that though the legalization of marijuana is currently being considered at the state level, the use of marijuana products remains illegal at both the state and federal levels. Prosecution of marijuana use or possession on Blackwell's campus will be strictly enforced. Uh, Brain Decay by Nathan Prescott. Nathan is such a creep. This is really gross. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Aw. So there was a time when he was being bullied. Trevor? Justin. Alright, well that's Drew. And then this one is... Great season, Mondo. Good luck at state. Yeah, this is the guy that I didn't recognize on the uh, map. Yeah. Uh... Definitely Drew's room. <laughs> Great game. You're a beast. Need to talk to you, Zach. Alright. What do I do if Drew's here? I don't know. We'll cross that bridge and backtalk challenge when we get there. One more time. All right, I tried. Okay. Not here right now. Oh, is Elliot staying here with him? I can see the God. figurines. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay, <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Shh. Wow, there is so much to look at. Uh, start over here, I guess. Bet the dinner choices are steak or steak. Blackwell Varsity Awards dinner. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? Ooh. No wonder you're so into football. Dear Andrew, it is my great pleasure to award you a full athletic scholarship to play football at Oregon State University. We know that a young man of your skills and character would make a great addition to the OSU franchise, a football dynasty that has produced NFL talent for decades. Huh. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Like, oh man, if I had known he was this good at sports, I would have hit on him earlier. <laughs> Dear Andrew, congratulations! In light of your incredible achievements as a high school football player and student, I am pleased to extend an official scholarship offer to you. The University of Oregon degree is one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the Pacific Northwest. We truly feel that you are a student athlete who has the potential to make a powerful impact on both our team and our student body. As the head coach, I am here to assist and support you on your journey to success. The details of this scholarship offer are as follows. Hello, Chris. Thank you so much for your consideration and the generous scholarship offer. I regret to inform you that I have chosen to attend Oregon State in the fall. Thanks for your time, Drew. Wow, another offer. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. From Zach to him, quarterback candy. Hey, bro, do you have any more happy pills? I'm beat as hell. You saw me take that hit for you last night, right? No one gets in my boy's grill on my watch, but hook me up, will you? Something just to take the edge off is all I need. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. From Anthony North. 
Is that their dad, maybe? What a game. Drew, what an amazing game, son. Couldn't believe that third quarter conversion. You've got moves, no doubt. I spent the day at the library again. Computers aren't my thing, you know that, but I'm trying to learn. There's a remedial skills class Mikey made me promise to take, so I'm going to do that next. See about learning how to type worth a damn. Never had to type on a fishing boat. Taking me forever to finish this email. Prospects for work are rough, but you know how it is. Don't worry about your pops. Keep your eye on that damn ball and there's nothing that'll stop you. I'm proud of you. P.S. Give Mikey a hug for me. I'll be by tomorrow afternoon to take him to the clinic. Don't forget. <laughs> Aw. So it looks like a good dad. <sighs> for the love of God. <laughs> Not a football fan. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. Drew and Mikey. Four years difference between them. Um, well, four and a half. Arza, yeah, four and a half. Ish. And wave and release. I understand there are risks involved. My child's children's participation in physical educational classes. Hereby authorize the staff and faculty to follow their best judgment in the case of an emergency and accept any medical expenses incurred. All right. They had pizza. Extreme football. Durgeron. Huh. Yeah. That fucker's dead. Huh. The myths of Leth. The slaughter maze of Durgeron. The bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Huh. Sergeant Blood versus Maniacal. Got some talent. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Dr. Time bot, the Jurassic Edition. I was gonna say teammate bot. Oh boy, Doctor Time bot, the Jurassic Edition. That's pretty cool. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Aww. <laughs> they look so happy. Aw, what a nice picture. Make me feel guilty for what I gotta do. Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. Uh, oh, now he's in for the homeless. That's probably why he's running money. I mean, running drugs for money. Is the money in there? Good chance. Oh, right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. Okay. Options. What are my options? There's like dates and stuff. I think. I think more than football, we've learned that Drew cares about his family and girls. <laughs> Whoa! Especially that one. Coastal. Um. But yeah, it has to do with his family. So there was like the email from his dad, but that's not going to have a date. There's like the new, it's not going to be an address because the address keeps changing. It's probably of possible combinations here. It could be his birthday. It could be Mikey's birthday. Hmm. I'm going to go out on a limb. And say so it's either 1227 or 1996. Let's try both. One, 1227. Oh, wow, first try. Yes. Well, I read that boy this like a is book. Kind of. Oh, he loves his brother. What are we doing? Uh, well. Aww. Uh, did little Drew beat you up, too? Oh, he's so cute. He's missing an eye. <sighs> Jackpot. Oh, well, there's the dosh. I'm Get the money. I'm kind of good at this. Don't be so proud of that. I mean, you did crack that on your first try, but come on, girl. <sighs> okay. Okay. Got the money. Time to bust out of here. And this is where it all goes wrong, probably. Do I have anything I need to read? Nope. No 
Nothing, nothing holding me back. Here we go. Crap. Yep. Oh, it's Mikey. <laughs> hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? Uh, I, I can't say no reason. <laughs> I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? <laughs> Why? Whoa. We gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Um, no. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Mikey, get your stuff. Like, you know Let's what? move. Where, what's, where's the fire? True. Relax. Slow down. That doesn't sound. Oh. I think that's that's the guy, Shit. isn't it? Whoa. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Yeah. I I think I know who that is. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh come on. Did Frank not tell him I was coming here to I get know the what's money? Going on. Oh no. Damn. You shouldn't have come yeah, here. Yeah, it's Damon. School's not the place for this. Really? I like that Frank Where couldn't come in here, but Damon could. My fucking money. Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Oh, he's not dumb. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm good. Oh. Where is it? Oh. Please! Just give me one week. Oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be. Aw, his brother. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid. No oh. one steals from me. Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I knew there was too much emotional exposition for there not to be some kind of issue. I mean, okay, scenario, spitballing time. Go outside, give Damon the money. He stops beating Drew up. Probably leaves. He might hurt Mikey just to make Drew not try to mess with him again, which means Mikey would get hurt potentially, and I don't want that to happen. But if I stay with Mikey, he's just going to continue to beat the crap out of him. Probably going to injure one of his limbs so badly that he's not able to play football anymore, is what I'm thinking. And so all his scholarships and stuff is going to be gone. But Mikey will be safe. But then I'm going to give him the money anyway, so him getting his arm broken is not good. It's kind of for nothing. And it doesn't help their dad. <sighs> well, I'm sorry, Mikey. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I don't want his brother to have all his scholarships and dreams all broken along with arm or leg. Stop! It's okay. <laughs> I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay, he already knows about Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? Frank's errand girl. Frank sent me to collect. Yeah, I know. That's what Frank was going on about? Wait. He didn't listen. Are you the bitch who tuned up Sheldon? That guy at the mill? <laughs> of course, his name's Sheldon. I'll say he needed it. I gotta play tough. He, he was an asshole. 
He kept harassing me. He needed to get the message. Frank was right about you. <laughs> he respected it. He's like, Let's yeah, you're right cash. about Sheldon. We need that. Oh, uh, no, Mikey. Uh, really? You got uh, slapped and hurt your uh, wrist, Mikey. Uh, <sighs> A broken okay. wrist is not too bad, though. Mikey, you need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on. I kind of figure that's what's going to happen. Got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. That's what I figured was going to happen, Thanks, probably. Thanks, kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. Maybe don't hurt people <laughs> again. Poor Mikey. We needed that money. <sighs> You just screwed us over. I know. Are you crazy? But he, yeah. That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. <sighs> if Mikey's involved, it's my business. I don't want to say that. It's his brother. I'll just say I was trying to help. I, I was trying to help. Damon wasn't going to stop until he had that money. Yeah. You think you're some kind of hero? Stepping in for poor Nathan Prescott? And now you're messing with our lives? Uh, Mikey, uh, I gotta look at your arm. Uh, Just leave us alone. That's fair, man. I'll say I'm... S I'm not sorry, though, for... saving his knees. But you know what? Look, I'm sorry. Look... I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't get our dad off the streets, does it? No, but at least it's said. We'll be okay. Well, I'm glad Mikey's not super mad at me. That's something. I guess I'm just gonna stand there looking at them for a while. Uh, sure.